Welcome to the New Grounds Podcast. Today's episode hosted by Henry Eyes, RGP Amis, Stagger Knight, and Real Faction. Thank you to Waterflow for the use of the song Gallifrey. Hello and welcome to the fifth episode of the New Grounds Podcast. My name is Henry Eyes, and today I will be your anchor. Whoa. Hello, everyone. It is I, the fellow scum of New Grounds, RG Pianums. Been on New Grounds for the past five years or so, and uh, I'm glad to be a host on the podcast. Hell yeah. Uh, my name's Stagger Knight, or Sage, and I'm your American Slav lad, and I've kind of always been in New Grounds, just lurking around. Getting into animation and art, and that's kind of it. And, uh, I'm Real Faction, I got a little bit of something in my voice today, so, uh... Hey, Peter. He's got the virus. Yeah. The usual Real Faction. Let's go to our NG News segment. Newgrounds News. So, today on the news, uh, as you can see in the front page of Newgrounds, uh, March 31st is the deadline for the RE Resident Evil animated collab hosted by Bad Twins. If you're interested in uh, animating, or reanimating rather, some old classic Resident Evil scenes as a part of a huge collab for the animators in the community of Newgrounds, go sign up, go check out the posts on the calendar, and make sure you get that done before it's too late uh and next down just kind of skimming over this remember that the pico day contest is the deadline is may 9th and now it's mostly an art contest this year uh you get 200 dollars for first place you get a prize for anywhere in the top five so make sure you tag it with pico day 2020 in the tags hooray pico day it's may 9th and also on the news august 26th also deadline for robot day if you want to participate in robot day make sure that you tag your stuff with i guess robot day 2020 first place gets 200 dollars and PayPal and a year of Ninji subscription of supporter status. If you want more information on the contest, check it out on uh, the front page calendar for August 26th and under Tom's big fat head. And there you go. You got it. Uh, today, we wanted to talk about uh, the whole Patreon, I guess, scandal. I don't know what you call it. Patreon yesterday just threw it out there or a day or two ago they just threw it out there panicking maybe because of investors saying well you better get on this as soon as possible oh what information do we have let's just throw it out there well apparently what we originally thought was patreon was banning all adult japanese style themed art as they pr previously <laughs> they didn't say anime they didn't say hentai they straight up said japanese style in a way that yes it's technical but in a way it kind of sounded racist and some people like japanese artists were also like is this racist are they like banning all japanese people from from patreon now and then they had to kind of reiterate we're like oh no 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 it's not that oh we we just it, it's just against the lolly porn or whatever so we have to uh you know uh decide if it looks lolly enough even though people say it's 18 and like people were getting uh real some real flack on that because the, the characters even though they were like adult they look too young even if they had a little bit of boobage like they um they got banned or they got suspended or i don't know something happened to them they got in trouble and they were demanded that they take these art pieces down and some artists that i personally know have been affected by this even though i didn't see the problem so they've been very sketchy very vague about this like they're like oh maybe the the boobs are too small maybe the it, it all just seems very um there's a word for it but, but it, i feel like there's some sort of agenda behind this and it's not good but granted i will say this Canada, just a whole, Canada as a whole, as some people know, if you live there, my friend uh, some years ago, years ago said that for years they had banned, uh, I think they banned anime art as a whole or what looked like underage anime porn or whatever. So I guess I shouldn't be too surprised because this was already a thing in Canada and now they're trying to make it a thing in uh, America or actually, well, with Patreon, you know, it's all over the world. So it's wherever in the world you're using Patreon. So, uh, thoughts? 
Yeah, it's a it's a very messy subject. Uh, yeah. It's just it's. And they <laughs> I understand no what they're paper going. Everyone has a coronavirus. <laughs> I mean, the, oh, I right. yeah. the real problem oh, is, like... <laughs> is the people that are affected that uh, aren't drawing uh, that kind of underage, you know, yeah. stuff. It's good to try and uh, monitor that. It's yeah. I understand why. And businesses, of course, are like super yeah. out of I mean, touch. Like, no one wants to thing. advertise. Hey, we're the company that fucking uh, sponsors goddamn <laughs> uh, pedophile artists. That's the thing with the whole copper situation where it was like you know the u.s government trying to like you know monitor or like try and like protect you know children all that kind of stuff because youtube's just like constantly promoting like questionable content so this is basically like a similar situation sort of analytically it's very <laughs> interesting to look at i love this type of stuff i just watch from the sidelines and i'm like damn these people are yeah. just just <laughs> couldn't straight facts where is that popcorn? Yeah, I, I, I personally, like, it's terrible that it happens, but I get so invested, not into it personally, but I just love witnessing how businesses try to cooperate with each other and with the clients and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's a confusing mess. I would love to see someone animate this, which somebody probably will, because I would put this, not quite the Tumblr fiasco, but it would be somewhere on a list of a top five uh, because a lot of artists are actually talking about leaving Patreon because of this, mm. just because of how many people have mis been misjudged, and and they're the Patreon's freaking out because I guess their investor is like, you better get on this, and like, oh shit, and they're like, yeah, I can see that being funny material. Like I remember, sort of, kind of unrelated, but sort of related. Remember when like Patreon changed their fee system? So like, if you're a completely new user, how this like that's why I made a Patreon. Even though I probably wouldn't even use it, like, currently. I think the only reason why I made a Patreon was so then I could be grandfathered into the new system. And same with a lot mm -hmm. of other, other artists and just users in general. Like, they joined as soon as they found out, oh, crap, my fees are going to be, like, you know, utterly, the roof. like, yeah, changed. Yeah, I remember because they were talking about changing their their bank, and they I don't think they told anybody. I can't remember, but it was like this sudden, oh, your pledges didn't go through because our banks are in Europe now or something, and your bank won't allow the charges to go through because it's overseas or something, or oh. it was some st stupid crap. Unless you're talking about something else, but that was another thing, by the way, and that was a huge huge fiasco with artists but they fixed mm. it now i want to mention though um i guess but if no one else has anything to say about the subject before we close this part of it patreon i'd like to throw it out there that i once reported a well-known line tracer patreon like no matter how much you report these art thieves patreon they'll like follow other reports but for some reason they will allow these art thieves to stay on there no matter what the reports from artists or whatever so i don't really support patreon that much because they seem to think that's okay. In any case, a lot of things like Subscribe Star have been uh, popping up and people have been sort of changing over to yeah. different services or Ko-Fi is also one of them. Yeah, because that, well, then again, Ko-Fi, right. well, I mean, that's just more of like regular donations, whereas Patreon, there's like tiers and all that kind of stuff. I mean, I guess for alternatives, there's like, uh, I was about to say Kickstarter, but that's more for individual projects and not really, you know, yeah. users. That's, if, or, or that's like, if you're doing something yeah. big. Like, I know there are like projects, like there was this one by, I think, Murthril or Walnuts Tint, who, which was like a- I don't know. It's like a fantasy point and click game, which was funded through Patreon, and that's like a yeah, single game, but yeah, I don't know. So, to ease us into the next piece of this podcast, uh, Ryan GP Animes is going to give us the news from the front page. And now, live from the front page. Hello, my name is Ryan, aka RGP Adams. We're live from the uh, traffic chopper and currently on the motorway. Oh, just kidding. So my first one is your boy, your homie, Wavetro, Wavetro, however you say it, with coronavirus video. Uh, just a night, like a funny satirical video <laughs> animation about just all the crazy stuff that's happening because of the coronavirus. Like, you know, people stacking up on toilet paper, face masks just gone through the roof sort of off topic but like there was this video by critical about like coronavirus outbreaks and literally two of the videos that he showed which was like of people just like fighting each other over toilet paper they were all in australia like one of the videos was from woolies which is like an australian supermarket and the other one was from coles and it's just like jesus christ like one of the videos that i found was of 
It was like an old lady who just really wanted toilet paper and then like a, another person who had like all these stacks of toilet paper and they were just fighting because like, you know, the old lady really wanted just that one piece. Anyways, next up is Anton Michael, Anton M with the problem with Bill, uh, sort of not really horror, not, it's not really a horror cartoon like his previous ones, it's more comedy, but the sound editing's really good. It's just like, it's just an overall good time. The animation's spot on. What's it about? What's the problem with Bill? The problem with Bill, it's about a guy called Bill who works at an office job until he's just absolutely fed up with all the work and he just, I'm not gonna spoil, I'm just gonna say he snaps. That's all I'm gonna say. Just go and watch the video. Uh, next up is The Great Reptar Adventure by Meat Canyon, which is just really dark. Just, like, you, you've, you've seen the video, right? Great Reptar Adventure, just- No, I haven't, but all, all I, all you've given me about it was that it is really dark, so I'm imagining it's just, uh, really dark. black for a full minute. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the next one, it's actually, it was just front page, a new cartoon by Flash Gets called Sonic Gets Cucked. It's about Sonic, y you know the furry video with like the corpse or whatever, just like an absolutely annihilating the furries, right? I know what you're talking about, but you yeah, describe that horribly. Sonic, <laughs> Sonic video, it's basically just that, but except with like, you know, the big people just like whatever except they're attacking sonic characters and all that kind of stuff it's it's a it's a you know typical flash get c video it's, it's good go give it oh i know what you're talking about yeah 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 uh the next one is taco pug who wants a tootsie pop a uh, short video and it's just it's i don't good. trust that I don't, <laughs> I don't trust it. I like Tiger Pug as much as the next guy, and he's Australian, he's so he's very, mad very respect. sick. He's autumn, he's Australian. That's an auto win for me. An auto win. Uh, the next one was a new one by Coles, whatever, called Max Junior, and it's like a little video of uh, it was like some guy called yeah, a guy called Max who creates a robot called Max Junior, and he's just trying to tell like you know everyone, hey, look at this guy, Max Junior, look at how cool he is. Except whenever he like introduces the robot, it just mischief happens. Either you know Max gets ostracized or someone else gets hurt. It's just. Yeah, it's a it's a cute video. Like, are you yeah. telling that hijinks ensues? Hijinks ensues, yeah. But oh, yeah, yeah. The, like the character designs are simple, but the animation is surprisingly like really good. And it's just yeah, you know, I just think it's a cute little cartoon. Uh, I'm just looking forward to um, any future content by Coles, whatever. And yeah, it's good on him. And the final one for movies is. Don't Pull the Pin by Elliot's Tunes. You may remember him on YouTube for doing those. I think it was like, like, you know, ste you know, steamed hams, but it's badly animated or like those like. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah he Never. recently uploaded a video to Newgrounds called Don't Pull the Pin, which was actually, yeah, he says he's been working on it on and off for the past two years. And I mean, it's, it's an alright video. Like, you know, there's a lot of like subversion and like, um, like the comedy is like heavily based on subversion and the animation is pretty solid. And it's just, yeah, it's a nice little cartoon. And yeah, I can't wait to see if like what other content Elliot's Tunes posts on Newgrounds. And now moving on to Art, we got personal favorite of mine by Box of Want called Eleanor and Fort or Forte fighting the horde. It's just a really well done illustration. Like, yeah, Box of Want, he's typically like an NSFW artist. Oh, and now this is some dick hardening stuff. Yeah, yeah even in his like NSFW awesome. <laughs> pieces, his art is just really stunning. Like, you know, just like, like the perspective, the lighting, just the detail. It's just really good. And I just really like how it's front page. So go follow Box of Want. I don't care, like, you know, he does NSFW, but he does other content as well. Just go give him a follow. Just do it for the love of God. I think the coolest part about this picture, if you look at it closely, is uh, anywhere that's black. It's actually not black. It's got several shades of black in it. Yeah, it's that's awesome I just looking. really... Oh. Makes it look real crisp. It's like sort of when you meant Henry, when you mentioned about Artil, like, you know, like an NSFW artist making them yeah, really yeah, cool. Yeah. I'm not very yeah, familiar that's like with this guy, but, but I, I get what yeah. you mean. Yeah, yeah. Continue. Yeah, I've seen his art, like, for the past, like, year or so, probably longer, and it's just really nice. Uh, anyways, next up is art, like, an art piece by fellow user, Mogi64, and it's called Siege. It's a commission for a guy called Ryushiko, 
Re- I probably pronounced that wrong, but Ryushka. Yeah, it's just your classic Mogi sixty four art style. Just like you know, and like the anatomy, the lighting. Just yeah, I really like uh, Mogi sixty four stuff. They're it's great. Yeah, his color. Yeah, color his coloring is just ads. really nice. Just the way, like the tones and the uh, yeah, the, the oh the, yeah. Uh, All right, and then final piece for the art section is again by another fellow user, fellow friend of mine, Kawaii Sprite with. Your love is a virus. Even though he's typically a musician, he also posts a lot of art. And it's just really cool to see, like, you know, Kawhi Sprite post, like, this psychedelic, just... I wouldn't say... it wouldn't even say messed up. It's just really cool. Like, I was you know, there black when he was drawing that. Art. I saw him draw that. I was in the yeah, voice was, call, yeah. his screen call. <laughs> I love the, uh, the angular shapes of everything. Yeah, it reminds me just... of... Uh, sort of newer zines you remember the old zine style that was all like uh like mm. weed smoking and this is this is sort of that just with center lines i don't know yeah i don't know how to describe it other than than that a lot of weed which is really cool to see kawaii sprite like post art anyways that's about it and then the final piece that i want to talk about it's a game called kill the ice age baby adventure the game <laughs> I, I kept oh, seeing no. that thumbnail and just thinking, what is that? Oh, <laughs> I never no. looked at it. But. Yeah, it's like a, yeah, it's a Unity-based game. I don't know why it's like, this is like a recent meme of just, you know, oh, killing the Ice Age baby. It's just like... <laughs> Some people like to rehash old things. It's a, it's a thing. Yeah. You know, like Kermit the Frog or... This is the thing, though. It's like fanboy and chum chum is just becoming big all of a sudden on Twitter. Like, it's just becoming yeah. a meme, which I just find really funny. Just considering how many people, like, <laughs> the, originally the best, hated it. Or, I don't know. The, the best part about all of this is the thumbnail. is just <laughs> the model of the Ice Age baby <laughs> in a void Jesus of white. Christ. <laughs> it's 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 majestic i love it oh my this is god style. okay ryan jesus yeah. christ i didn't know you <laughs> sorry it's just, it's just <laughs> what's that what are you doing true. <laughs> all right anyway that's about it for live from the front page uh back uh live from the traffic chopper back to the uh, podcast I'm going to read out a delicious review from the last episode. Real Mr. Snuggles says, For Newgrounds noob like me, this is insane lore. I want to know more. Great advice of the end of, well, fucking shit, I can't read. Uh, great advice at the end as well. Keep up. I'm going to go on to Tom Fulp's uh, review. Great discussion. It made me go dig up my voice recording from Super Go- Conrad Smasher. Gonad. Super Lol. Gonad Smasher. Sp- Super Gonad. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Henry. Henry you- yeah, I'm too we far away We talked about that the last screen. interview. Gee, I sure do like it when you say sentences Fuck like Fuck you, Ryan. This. I never passed. I never passed English. Anyway, now to our Under the Radar segment. Hello and good evening. I'm Reginald Hoffelhauser III for another rousing episode of Under the Radar. We do apologize for last time. Jack Sirius will not be assaulting anyone else in the studio who are actually supposed to be here. Today, we're reviewing... Oh, is that my food delivery? How splendid! One moment, terribly sorry. Hello there, are you the delivery man? Uh, yeah. Why, thank you for delivering my- Hey, wait a minute! You're not the delivery man! But I have your delivery. Surely you can't be serious! Yes I am! My name is Jack Sirius, and if you don't know Sirius, you don't know Jack! Oh no! How's that for a delivery? Jack is back! Today's pick for Under the Radar! Jim and Jim, Episode 1! Illegal Retirement by Tasty Lunch. Living under the same roof with his brother, Jim with two M's is a cactus boy who wants to quit his job as a cactus inside of a cactus mascot advertiser. But his boss shows him the binding contract of three years, so he can't quit. Cactus boy doesn't have to live with the needles poking out of him to know a prick when he sees one. 
All in a crazy world where managers take advantage of their employees and disregard their well-being. Hey, wait a minute. Unaware of the names of the streets around the city or how to get around, his money-obsessed lawyer brother Tim shows him the ropes, while Jim asks him for help to find a way out of his predicament and stares at an unattended baby that speaks in an alien language. Alien baby. You'll see a bunch of random wacky characters and wonder what in the Sam Hill these two real-life relatives smoked to create this trippy, cute, and colorful world while enjoying a cool animation. While the writing could use some improvements, and the voice acting, while good in some parts, could be improved on in some of the cartoon. This first submission to Newgrounds by Chasty Lunch deserves a viewing. So go check it out. Only on Newgrounds. Back to you. Oh man, Only Jack keeps crashing the studio. Whoa. He keeps crashing it. We got it. That's a serious problem we got to take care of. But no, I like Jack. He can keep assaulting our correspondence. Yeah, he, can, he can keep living here rent free for months and months and have questionable substances. Yeah, Henry, next time we talk to Goodell, can we ask him to get Jack serious as a guest? I mean, that'd be pretty cool. Maybe, maybe, maybe. We could I really do that. like it. We, we could do that. Whenever he shows up, he's just got some good ass music playing behind him. Yeah, <laughs> and some good taste as well. Style ass shit. Mm. I mean, he likes my music. Well, I mean, I, I guess. So. Anyways, next up is the audience participation. Unfortunately, oh. since Goodell's not here, he can't do it. However, he entrusted me, the great RG Pianums, to no to host <laughs> the audience <laughs> participation game. And unfortunately, no one signed up. However, I managed to get you know a, a, a little good pal of mine to participate, and his name is Hours NG. Say hello to Hours. Why am I here? <laughs> You made a mistake. You made, oh God. A, mistake. made a grave mistake. Dude, I'm terrified. Brace yourself, now. friend. Oh, no. Ever since we let Ryan on the podcast, she yeah. ain't been the same. So, the Newgrounds quiz. It's based off of Newgrounds history, and it's a multiple choice where you have three possible answers to choose from. However, one of these, one of the answers are, is correct. All right, and if you get, all right, if you get two out of three of the questions right, Goodell will give you one month supporter status. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> and if you get all wrong, so, I'll shout at you. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> also, another thing, you'll have around 15 seconds to answer each of the questions, so then you don't cheat. All right, first question. When was Castle Crashers originally released? Is it A, 2006, B, 2008, or C, 2012? Uh, C. Is that Wrong. your final answer? Oh, well. No, it is actually not my final answer. You see, now it's actually <laughs> B. Well. Oh, fuck me then. He failed. He failed. No, he failed. Our Ryan GP Anims decided that he failed. Next question. Sorry, I gotta, I gotta. Uh, <laughs> All right. Question two. The concept of the famed Newgrounds collab originally spawned from the time trials by Lewis, which began in what year? Is it A, 2007, B, 2004, or C, 2006? Um... B, 2004. Ding, 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 ding. You're right. The yeah. time trials began in 2004, and as such, it paved the way for the Newgrounds collab. You know, Street Fighter, Smash, you know, all the classics. A lot of things that, Real like, classic, put yeah. Newgrounds on the map besides Pico School. And actually, speaking of things that put Newgrounds on the map, question three, the final question. So, yeah. ours, if you get this right, you'll get one month supporter status. Oh my god. Question three. We all know the classic Numa Numa dance from back in the day, right? Oh god. Well, no. for April Fools, the Newground site was temporarily changed to celebrate the video in what year? Is it A, 2005, B, 2009, or C, 2016? A, 2000 and what was that, nine? Or whatever the fuck. Five. Five, yeah, that one. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> you got it correct. Congratulations, Awes NG, fellow Dude. Newgrounds member and Hyun's Dojo 
animator as well. Yo! You got one month supporter status. Dude! So proud That's of you. That's pretty cool. This is like my greatest achievement. Yeah. It's crazy. Congratulations. <coughs> Congratulations. It's crazy. Into the next segment. The next segment of the podcast. Spotlights. And now, Spotlights. The first personal spotlight that I want to mention is a piece of art by Habanero Tadpole called Sidekick, which is based off of a Canadian TV show, Canadian cartoon from 2005. The main character, who's pretty much just a big, giant simp, it's just an absolute simp party. <laughs> Anyways, next up is it was previously front paged but i just want to give a shout out to it an animation by the primal punk called it's shit <laughs> yeah <laughs> whoa 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 what is that how come you're not allowed to say shit yeah. You're not allowed to say Whoa. shit. It, it, yeah, this is a really funny, like, obviously it's not like, even even he says it himself. He says, can't say this will ever get A plus for social commentary, but yeah, like the, the animation is just really nice. Like, you know, really exaggerated and it's just, you know, like caricatures and all that kind of stuff. And it's just a really funny video. Just like the timing, just like the voice acting. It hits a lot of <laughs> really just, funny beats. Yeah, like, uh, just go check out the Primal Punk. I think he's also an animator for um, Ollie and Scoops, which, yeah, which is also on Newgrounds. So yeah, go check out Primal Punk's cartoons and uh, yeah. And my next personal shout out is, ironically, from the winner, uh, Alice and G, uh, give a shout out to Leo Alice Shenevert. I think that's how you say. Demo Reel, 2018 to 2020. Currently under judgment, but it's just a really just cool comp like, you know, compilation of the previous animations that he's done over the past like couple years. And ever since the Bartman collab uh, by Snackers, he, I've just like found out about hours and he's just been a really cool artist and animator and inspiration. And he's done a lot of cool stuff. All right, final one, final one is a music submission by good boy 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 called Rosemary. He, I think it was mentioned before, but he's a good friend of Karmut, who's a good friend of mine. And it's just a nice little indie piece. You know, if you know Mac DeMarco, Boy Pablo, all those cool peeps, then you'll know, you'll get a kick out of Rosemary. So just go listen to it. Anyways, that's all my personal shout out. Well, I have a couple. Um, I have, it's really just a couple of small things. I don't have a lot to say about them, uh, but I'm the music guy, so usually I just do music. Um, this is Nuclear Mushroom Broom Unknown Persons Theme by Mr. Rubel. It's basically like old Nintendo style chiptune music, which I'm a sucker for. You know, I created Pixel Day and I always look forward to like chiptune stuff. So I, you know, sometimes every now and then I'll look for Pixel chiptune music or whatever. And honestly, this is honestly a really neat piece by Mr. Rubel. And I guess Nuclear Mushroom Broom is his project, I guess. But um, it's really cool. You could play it to some old Nintendo game. If you mute the volume, it fits right in. You know, it's, it's really, really good. Okay, so the other one is Avion Don't Let Go by Avion on music and i don't know if i'm seeing this correctly i have my suspicions but if the person really is 13 years old who composed this it sounds extremely good we could have another mr smash 64 if they really did make it yeah because mr smash 64 for those who don't know i think he came on newgrounds about 12 or 13 and his stuff is like really really good and i'm like how do you do this so uh don't let go by avion music uh go check that out it's like a nice little I don't know if you call it a house track. It's just a nice chill track that you can kind of drive along to. You get relaxed. You put your arm around your girl in your passenger seat and, you know, drive at night. And, you know, I don't know. Just go check it out. It's really chill. And that's all I got. Uh, I just I'm just going to bring up one. It's an album. So it's a whole album. So I'm obviously not going to stress that you listen to the whole thing. But one song from it is like one of my favorites. I'd say if you were to listen to one track, I'd say, uh... <laughs> High on Blues, and it's made by Hey PC on Newgrounds, or Piche. It's the album is Looking Up. I love this album. It is fantastic. 
do listen to it. I really should it. check it out. Like just this man just cracks really cool. out some great stuff. It's just really cool to see like fellow Newgrounds artists just like post on like Spotify. Like I know there was this one artist called Lem Kuja who, if I remember correctly, he posted. Yeah, he made like an album and put it on Spotify. It was called Cheesecake Plus, and that one's actually really cool. And like actually, yeah, one of his. Uh, songs on that album was actually actually surpassed a hundred thousand streams, which is actually pretty cool. Oh kudos, yeah, and I guess the man. <laughs> and I guess I should say the album is uh it's under hip hop modern on Newgrounds because I don't know music terms, but it's yeah. it's freaking snapping. Yeah. Get to yeah. it. With Cheesecake Plus, that one's also electronic, so... Okay, so this is... We actually have an audience uh, question uh, for one of the hosts. Oh. Uh, oh. The question is anonymous, so uh, it's asking <laughs> uh, RGP Anims, how the fuck did you become a host on this podcast? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Gee, again, I wonder who asked that oh, question. Oh, burn. <laughs> anonymous. You will never know. Well, I have um, close contacts, you know? <laughs> That's yeah. it. You're not gonna say I had skill. They liked my audition. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah I just had, yeah, I had skills with like voice, voice acting, and just voice in general. Like, remember, remember initial XD by Snack. Are, are you yeah. seriously crediting initial XD for? <laughs> <laughs> no, you okay. earned it. All right. <laughs> oh, well. well, question answered. Oh, apparently one of my songs got front page. I didn't think it was that great. It was repetitive. Well, thanks whoever did that. Oh, wait. Wait, where's oh, yeah. this? Hold on. It was my side project. It was a thing. Okay. Yeah. Well, cool. Thanks thanks for whoever did that. I thought it was repetitive. Yeah, live from the front page, part two. In any case. <laughs> Thank you, I just saw it. For- <laughs> Thank you, everyone, uh, for joining uh, us today live in the Discord, uh, New- the Newgrounds Podcast Discord. And yeah. thank you, everyone, for listening. And I'll we'll I'll see you next time, I guess. Catch you all on the flip side. That's my catchphrase. Thank you for listening to the Newgrounds Podcast. This show is recorded live on our Discord server. Join us at bit.ly/ngpdiscord. For the latest news, follow us on Twitter at the NG Podcast. Goodbye.